How's it going, guys? So a few signings were announced today, including the Oakland A's signing reliever Trevor Rosenfall. And as always, if you guys can, please like and subscribe. Anyway, let's get into the video. So the deal breaks down as a one-year deal worth $11 million. This signing is capped off a busy end of the offseason for the Athletics, who have replaced Marcus Simeon with Elvis Andrews, signed relievers Josmero Petit and Sergio Romo, acquired Adam Kolarik, re-signed Mike Fires, and signed Mitch Moreland. This deal makes a great rebound for Rosenfall, who last season was struggling to get a job. In 2019, Rosenfall struggled horrendously to a 13.50 earned run average in 22 games with the Nationals and Tigers. With his MLB career at a crossroads, Rosenfall signed a minor league deal with his hometown team, the Kansas City Royals. He ended up hosting a great rebound season as he did 3.29 earned run average with the Royals when he was traded at the trade deadline to the Padres for Edward Olivares and Dylan Coleman. Rosenthal was even better with the Padres as he did not give up a single run, albeit in 10 innings, as the Padres went on to the National League Division Series. Of course, there are concerns about Rosenthal's injury past and his struggles, but Rosenthal was once a dominant closer with the Cardinals and even if the A's can get him to produce near his 2020 season, then he will be worth it. Rosenthal was originally ranked as the 25th best free agent this offseason by MLB Trade Rumors. With many of the best relievers already having signed with teams, Rosenthal was far and away the best reliever on the market. With signing Rosenthal, he will presumably replace closer Liam Hendricks, who signed a record contract for a reliever with the Chicago White Sox. And with Rosenthal being almost 31 years old and being a free agent next offseason, he can probably get a very nice contract next offseason as well. Speaking of the A's, today it was announced that they have signed first baseman slash designated hitter Mitch Moreland to a one-year deal worth $2.25 million and an additional $250,000 in incentives. While Moreland is 35 years old and he has declined a bit, Last season, he had a slash line of 265, 343, and 551 with 10 home runs in the shortened season. At the start of the 2020 season with the Red Sox, he had 328 before he was traded to the Padres at the trade deadline for prospects Hudson Potts and Jason Rosario. With the Padres, he struggled as he got limited playing time with the insane depth that the Padres had last season. While Moreland is primarily a first baseman, with gold glover Matt Olson there, it is likely that he'll get most of his playing time as a designated hitter, with Chris Davis already being traded to the Texas Rangers. Overall, this is a nice end of the offseason for the A's, who turned around from losing Marcus Semyon and Liam Hendricks, and they're now probably favorites to win the American League East. And the last signing I'll be talking about in today's video is a minor league deal, but a signing that is very beneficial. This afternoon, it was announced that the Cincinnati Reds have signed former Cleveland Indians outfielder Tyler Naquin to a minor league deal. Naquin has had his ups and downs in his career, but as a whole, he has a career 274 batting average and a 3.2 wins above replacement, and he is only 29 years old. Naquin was a first-round pick in 2012 by the Indians, and he made his debut in 2016, having a very solid season, with 14 home runs and a .296 batting average. What looked like the start of a very promising career suddenly turned sour as he struggled with injuries and only played 19 games in 2017. In 2018, he had a good but not great season as he struggled with injuries and getting playing time. And in 2019, he rent and bounded as he had 288 with a 103 OPS plus. And finally, in 2020, he struggled and he did not get much playing time. As evidenced by his stat line, if he can stay healthy and get quality playing time, he is an above average hitter. With the Reds, he joins an outfield mix that has Nick Senzel, Jesse Winker, Shogo Akiyama, and Aristides Aquino, among others. If he can perform in spring training, he could get plenty of playing time with the Reds as they lack a veteran presence. If you guys have enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe and tell me what you think of these signings in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.